Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm basically talking about HRT, hormone replacement therapy for my intersex condition of my sexual development condition that I do have of a disorder due because I have a male genitalia instead of a female's genitalia. So yeah, so I take hormonal needs due because I was born female, but I have a male genitalia and these are the medications that I take on my daily regimen to produce my secondary sexual characteristics a female meaning my breasts are breasts so now i am flat chested you know so you know i love it though you know i don't have my i'm a size a36 so you know i'm not too too flat chested i mean at first when i was like 16 i was flat chested flat chested like at my age now i'm 23 um, you know, it was a long journey for me to get on my medication because, you know, I have parents, so they weren't with a, the scenario of helping me to get on my medication. So it was a long journey, but I got on it at 18 and I've been on it for six years almost. So these are the medications that I take. So I take Spirolactin. It looks like this. Yeah, it's a Spirolactin. This is my testosterone blocker. This is to block the testosterone that's at that's in my system because, like I told you, my testosterone level, you guys, is 1,153. So I take a testosterone blocker to block my testosterone, and then I take an estradiol of two, two, two tablets by mouth twice a day. I also take one spirolanthum one time twice a day and that's for my hormonal medications and that's the medications that I have to take for my hormonal needs. Um, the journey beginning on my estrogen medication and my hormonal medication was a long journey. I didn't start on my pills medication for my hormonal needs until, like I said, like I got on it when I was 16. But I told you guys, I didn't get on it like the regular way through a medical improvision. I had to find out a way to get on my medication because this was what's right for me to do. And, you know, I had to get on it and I got on it and I was only on it for about a month. You know, it was only on it for a month, you know, so, you know, it, was not, it wasn't really doing much effect, but it was just making my boobs grow. And that's the reason why I take HRT, hormonal replacement therapy, is to make my breast features grow because that's the only thing I'm missing in my female anatomy is that I don't have big tits. Then that's the only reasoning behind that is because I wasn't on my medication when I got was younger, when I was like, you know, when I was barely growing up, they didn't put me on a hormonal medication due because they didn't know this information, I guess, or they just weren't accepting of this information because they had their own viewpoints. But I am an adult and I got on my medication and I took the chance to get on my medication as a 16 year old and now I'm 23. And I've been on this medication for about six years almost. In April 8th of 2022, it will be six years exactly. So, you know, and these are the results that I basically have. Um, I still look the same, you know, like I said, because I was born a female. I just have a male genitalia. And because of that, I take hormonal needs to balance my hormones because that's what's proper for my doctor regimen for me to do. And that's my hormonal medication that I have to take. I take it every day. Um, sometimes, you know, I take it due because it's my own medication, no needs, and I take it when I feel sometimes to take it because it doesn't, to me, like, it doesn't, like, really do much, honestly, because I look the same, you know, so it's not like it's changing me into, like, a whole new woman. It's not like it's making me to develop to a whole new woman. All it did is basically make my breast tissue grow. That's all it did. It just made my breast tissue grow. It didn't change me and define me into a new woman. It just... It just made my breast tissue go. And that's the only reason why I started taking hormonal medicine is because it makes my breast tissue grow. And because I want, uh, because I'm a female and I want breast tissue to grow on my body, 
I take hormonal medication and because I want to manage my hormones also because like I told you guys my testosterone level is at 1153 and my doctor told me my testosterone level is as high as a cis male so that's how high my testosterone level is and as you can see I am not a male I am a female and I was born biologically a woman I just have a high testosterone count and I have a male genitalia instead of a female genitalia so you know but these are the medications that I take. I also take a pro-estrogen pill also, but I don't really like that medication, dude, because that hormonal medication doesn't really do much. It's doesn't, it from my defining, it doesn't really do much for me. Like sometimes it makes me like moody, you know, like the pro-estrogen medication, but it doesn't really make me feel like it does any effects to me, but makes me kind of moody. So, you know, like that moody, cause I already have bipolar, you know? So it's like, it makes me feel like moody as like, you know, it makes me irky and irritable. You know what I mean? Like, and taking these hormonal medications already makes you like kind of irky, but it doesn't make you like too irky because I am a female and I already know what my hormonal medication needs. And because my testosterone level was already so high, it doesn't really do too much to make me like too irky. I have bipolar too. So, you know, it doesn't really like, it doesn't really do much, you know what I mean? And to the context of making me feel like, oh, I will have now these emotional meltdowns or these emotional mood swings or these emotional turnover where I'll get really depressed and I'll get very emotional. That's not what this medication would do. This is this hormone medication doesn't do that. It doesn't do all that type of stuff like to you. Yeah, you get in touch with your feelings. Yes, of course, because you're taking a hormonal medication to make you feel you know you're a submissiveness your phenomenality and you know your phenomen you know features and basically your phenomen atmosphere basically but it doesn't really em it embraces it but doesn't really make it you know what i mean like it makes it go like this you know it goes like without my medication i was 100 percent fine i actually after i got on my medication you guys like i started after i got off of my medication because i might said like i was on it at 16 but how i was getting on my medication was not the traditional way of how you would get on hrt it's more like you're risking your health at that scene and i don't endorse it to nobody i hope everybody can go to a medical proper intervention and get their medication that they need from a doctor and i hope that their family will be on board to take care of their hormonal need so they can take care of themselves so you know but yeah um i take for my spironolactone my testosterone blocker i take a 100 milligrams you know and it's like i said i take this twice a day you know I take it with two estrogens and one testosterone blocker medication a day. And then on my estrogen pill, I take two MG, two tablets of two MG twice a day. So I take a total of four, four MG morning and night. So I take about eight MG total daily, you know, of estrogen. So, and that's basically for my hormonal balance and hormonal needs so I can manage my hormones. Um, you know, part of being, like, like I said, like being born intersex and being a woman and, you know, like, it's just part of my journey that I had to take care of my hormonal needs because I was hormonal imbalanced and I needed to take care of my hormonal needs because that's also what helped factor in all, like, you know, other things about being a female, you know, like, you know, just really like, you know, just the feeling like the full hormonal balance, basically, you know, the full balance, you know, of women, you know, just being balanced in your hormonal needs, basically. So, you know, like, because like, I wasn't on my hormonal need because my parents decided not to put me on no hormonal medication due because of their own reasonings behind why they didn't decide not to put me through it. And they felt that it was best if I don't be on the medication. But reality, the truth is I needed the medication regardless because it's for my hormonal need. It balances my hormones out. So, you know, but because I didn't get on my hormonal need as a young one and I didn't get like an orchidectomy, you know, and got my like my testicles like chopped off. Like my testosterone level is very high and do because I don't want to do surgery intervention 
because I don't want to mess up the chemistry of my body's natural nature. So yes, I did have like hair growth, you know, like I had to wax, you know, the hair off my face because, you know, going through puberty and because I had testosterone high levels, you know, I had like hair growth growing on my face, like right here. Right here, right here, right here, do because of lack of education by my parental guidelines, you know, so they didn't have the right information given to them. So, you know, and do because of that, I had to take notice and I had to take care of those precautions of waxing all of the hair off my face and taking care of all myself, just taking care of myself basically, like what I will as an adult, and I have to take care of myself as an adult. So, you know. But I wax, you know, I've been waxing, I've been waxing since I was 17, you know, so, you know, it's been quite a long time since I've been waxing and it reduced tremendously, you know, like, you know, sometimes like it comes like, a, you know, like a little bit, but it just needs to be re-waxed. Like you can see like kind of like right here, kind of, you know, like the hormonal needs, it's like, you see, you know, cause I need to wax, you know, but it's not too a severe, severity as it was it wasn't really long long it's just it was just you know at the end of testosterone you know when you're growing up and being developed you know as a when you're going through puberty and you know i had high levels of testosterone in my system because of my male genitalia and because i wasn't medicated and i didn't have medication to take care of my needs that's the reason why i at the end of puberty basically this grew in and i had to wax it all off so you know, so, yeah. So, if you get on your medication sooner, then, yes, it will help. Because sometimes, you know, like, if you do all, like, the precaution measures, like, doing, like, electrolysis or waxing. Because waxing works really well because waxing removes the hair from the follicle. And it also damages the hair from the follicle, too, every time you wax it. So, it makes it reduce and reduce and reduce. And that's what you want because, you know, you don't want that much hair on your face. So, you know, it's just part of, you know, being a woman, you know, you just have to love yourself unconditionally with it, so, you know, but, you know, also, you know, I have, like, body hair, you know, like, right here, you know, armpits, not too bad on my armpits, but, you know, I have leg hair, it's not too bad on my leg hair either, I'm gonna show you, you know, it's not too bad, you know, because my testosterone level is as high as a cis male, you know, but I'm biologically a female, but my testosterone level is as high as a cis male, so that makes hair growth grow, you know, so it's not like a severity, you know, as you can see, it's not like, like, oh my gosh, she's a hairy girl, you know, like really hairy girl, you know, it's like, oh, I have some hair on my legs, you know, I just need to go wax, <laughs> you know what I mean, you know, oh, I have some hair on my face, I just gotta go wax, oh, I got some hair on my body, but I gotta go wax, and it will take care of that for me, not something that I gotta, like, be overly depressed about, and start using a shaver, because I don't recommend, I don't recommend a shaver, because a shaver doesn't necessarily mean that it would take care of all the hair growth that's growing, because, you know, you know how shaving is, you know, especially if, you know what I mean? You're transgender and, you know, you're, you wanted to transition to be a female. Like, it's not always, you know what I mean? Like, you know how shaving is. So I recommend if you want to do that route, you know, if you were born male and you want to become a female, and if you were female and you want to be a male or whatever, you know, your scenario is. Or if you were born intersex and you want to know how to remove your hair growth and you were born a, you're just an intersex woman or a woman in general and, you know, and you want to remove all the hair growth from your face, I recommend waxing basically to remove the hair growth because it will remove it really well. It saves you lots of money. It's really simple. It's really easy. I went to school to become an esthetician. I'm not licensed. But because, like I said, I have my education and I can educate people on those types of topics because on, like, my own self reasonings, you know, like, I can do waxing on, like, myself. I can do waxing on, like, you know, family and friends because, you know, it's my education. It's my education. I'm just not a licensed professional to go in a working world to go wax people, basically. So I wax myself, you know, and I take care of my own skin for myself, so... But yeah, you know, so that's basically what I needed the hormonal medication for. And I've been on it for, like I said, a six year period almost. On April 8th, it will be six years total. I got on it at 17 
I got it on, no, I was at 18, senior year, two months from, one month from graduation, and then I got on my hormonal medication, all by my own help, because I had no family intervention to getting my medication needs, so I had to do it all by myself, and it was okay, you know, it just taught me not to rely on people, and it just taught me to really take care of myself even more, so I can, you know, take care of myself, basically, like, you know, so, you know, but if you are if you are thinking of taking your hormonal medication and you need hormonal medication, um, talk to your parent also so they know you know your medicational needs because you know yourself more than anybody else. And then also you know to go see an endocrinologist, go see a licensed endocrinologist who's a specialist in that type of industry to know more about your intersex condition and know more about your hormonal count so they can do test work on you so you can get the proper medication for your treatment. Sometimes people need more testosterone because, you know, like I told you, like my testosterone level is at 1,153. And because I wasn't introduced to a hormonal regimen as a younger age, I had to do it as an older age at 18 to take care of all those scenarios for myself. And now I'm 23 and I'm about to be 24 soon. So, you know, it's like... You know what I mean? Like, I'm glad I made the decisions to get on the medication as I got on it at 16. But I'm not 100% glad, but I'm not 100% sad either because it taught me a lot, basically. So, but I don't endorse skiing on those medications like that. Go through a doctor's office and get your medication. That's my niece. <laughs> Sorry. You know, that's my niece talking. But yeah, that was my name, sorry, you guys. Um, yes, I am an aunt. You know, I have a, a nephew, I have three nieces, and yeah, you know, but yeah, you know, so, you know. But like I said, this is the hormonal medication that I recommend you get on and talk to your endocrinologist, you know, because your endocrinologist will tell you everything about your test work about your hormonal count and do what your doctor asks of you to make sure you stay consistent on your medication don't do what i do because i do it based on how i feel do because i don't feel like you know even when like my breasts do grow like i don't feel like it's it gets to the size that i want it to because i'm thinking about getting like argumentation you know but i'm still doing my studies because you know because i'm african-american some people say you know they're negative quotations that it can be a health risk or something so i'm just taking my precautions you know but you know this is the size that i am i'm wearing a sports bra i like wearing sports bra those are my favorite bras to wear because they're easier they're breathable and honestly they feel way better than wearing a bra because you know, I love me a sports bra. Sports bra is life because it makes everything feel like happiness, you know. And like I said, you guys, because I was, I am flat chested, you know, because my breast size is 36A. I have tattoos on my body to like, you know, help my confidence so I don't feel insecure. You know, I also have one right here. I live life, you know, I'm spiritual. So it tells me a spiritual meaning. Just like I said, I like just to live life, you know, and embrace the meaning of life and live it, you know. So, you know, so it just helped, you know, being me. Yeah, so I don't feel insecure or feel, you know what I mean? Like any insecurities based because I don't have big tits, you know? So, but don't get me mistaken. I can still get breast implants and I can still, you know, do all that if I decide to. But right now I'm still debating do because, you know, breast implant illness and all those great topics. But I will find a good surgeon. I'll do my research. I will talk to my doctor and everything else beside before I do all those types of interventions on surgeries. But this is a hormonal medication I take. Um, so met, hit, go find your endocrinologist and ask them to help you get on your hormonal needs and take care of yourself. And ask your parent, you know, if they can also help you get on your medicational needs. If you're born an intersex woman, or if you're born an intersex man, or if you are transgender, ask your doctor so you can get proper medication, you know, so you can take care of yourself. So this is to be the end for this video, 
hit the like button subscribe to my channel if you're new to it and i'll just and i'll see you guys in the next video bye